We are down two children now because it is past their bedtime. I apologize for the super weird color. Um, my husband's phone died, and while I love my Armor 5, it's really awesome. It's a uh, camera. <laughs> leaves a lot to be desired. So we're pretty sure now that it's loosened. There's a timing mark here on the front. A timing mark? There's a little indentation. And that lines up at the front of the unit to let you know where the gap... Is that the divot? This little divot here is the mark. Oh, I just thought I and dropped it. And that indicates where there's a break Ooh. in the case so that you can access this system. So oh, what we just learned is I didn't actually need to take apart any of this <laughs> to get this out. It was really just one Ew. screw. Is there nasty stuff and in there? And then there's some nasty grease and the food debris. Stuff. And That's the stuff I was worried about. Stuff. But you know what? So to General Electric's credit, this is designed way better than the Sunbeam ones that you took apart because yes. those ones were absolutely full, and I do mean full. Well, the, it's very smart nasty the way stuff. that this goes together because it's got a, a dome shape here. Yeah, it makes it really hard for food to get in there. Keeps the crud from getting in there unless you try really hard but even with that there is still, there is crud, still crud in there so i'm really glad that and you, this that you grease persevered. needs to be replaced because it's nasty yeah i don't even think it counts as grease at this point i think it's it's very I'm gonna, tacky i'm gonna take a if this phone knows how to do close-ups kind of is so can you imagine even there's like fur oh what is this, this white stuff is super this is grease that white stuff is grease? It, well, it was grease. Now it's like solid. It's not even sticky. Let me, let me click on this. Hold it moving. Jeez. I manipulated it with the screwdriver. You can see it doesn't even deform. It's just it's become crusty and hard. So we're going to clean all that crap out, and then we'll replace it with some of this, which is a food-grade synthetic grease. Super lube. Dude, that is nasty. It looks like some of those videos of stuff they dig out of people's ears. See, and I don't want this crap falling in my food that I'm trying to bake. I know some people are like, it doesn't matter. It's going in the oven. It'll kill any germs. I don't care if this is sterilized. It's still icky. And that's what my poor husband has to live with. <laughs> so I'll be cleaning this with some alcohol and some Q-tips just to get all this grease out of here. And then I'll pack it with the new grease and reassemble it. All right, one sec. So when he said he was going to clean it with alcohol, I thought he was going to go and get a glass of tumbleweed apple pie, but apparently he means the boring kind. This is uh, isopropyl Whoa. alcohol. My, f my phone is too slow. This is isopropyl alcohol in a squeeze bottle. Okay. And just regular Q-tips. Not just regular Q-tips. We got the brand name oh, stuff. The real deal. Yeah. Kids, quiet please. When you are in bed, you should be sleeping, not bickering with each other. I love our house. We're super lucky to have this house. The only downside is that it's an open concept, which means there's very little privacy. The only doors in the house are the bathrooms, thankfully. And my husband's office. Well, and you know, like the ones to outside. <laughs> Those ones are kind of important. <laughs> yeah. But uh, it does mean that if there are little ears that haven't quite gone to bed yet, we have to be careful about what kind of movies we're watching or what kinds of things we're talking about. Or, you know, and I swear they can be in a deep slumber. And if I try to sneak a little chocolate bar, those those ears that can't seem to holler or hear me hollering at them to stop hitting each other from six feet away, oh, they can hear me across the house stealthily unwrinkling a candy wrapper. That's right. You stick it in deep. That is so grody. Wait, actually, I have a question. Mm -hmm. 
Can that ring come out? Because that looks like it could just go in the dishwasher. With that whole that ring that ring we're looking at is thing. the bottom side of the planetary gear set. Oh. <clears throat> oh yeah, it looks like it's not actually going to fit out that pole. It will not. The pole is smaller than the gear. When I was saying earlier that I might have to take the whole thing apart. That's what you were thinking. That's about. what I was thinking is I have to remove this gearbox, but if I don't, then I'm not going to because it's it's a lot of work. Fair point. I have a question. Mm -hmm. uh, are those Q-tips going to be depositing like a pound of cotton in there, and is that going to cause the gears to have issues? No. Nope. Okay. If there's any little fuzz left over, it uh, it'll just get mashed. It won't matter. It's not going to end up in our cookies, right? Because cotton's not on the ingredient list. I'll do my best. I won't, <laughs> won't have any cotton in there. Look at those powerful fingers. Most of it. So now that you've cleaned the innie, how are we going to clean the outie? It's easier. Is it really? Mm -hmm. Mm hmm I can actually reach it. Guys always have it easier. <laughs> One thing I'm going to do to get that grease out of there is I'm going to smash the Q-tip flat. You're going to what? Smash the Q-tip flat. So it fits under the gear. You move way too fast for this terrible camera to catch. In case anyone is thinking about buying the Uli Foam Armor X5, it's awesome in the sense that you can abuse it like a rented mule. And so far, despite my best efforts, I haven't broken it yet. However, if you take a lot of videos or take a lot of pictures and like them to look like they weren't filmed on a potato, perhaps this isn't the phone for you. There may be upgrade apps that can be downloaded or something, but I haven't figured those out yet. If anybody has a recommendation on an app that would make the Armor X5 Ulophone camera a little more tolerable, like I'm not even watching it, I'm just looking in here and I'm trying to not move and I'm giving myself seasickness which is weird because we're not on a boat if you've got any recommendations on how to make this less terrible let me know in the comments and I will try those apps it's like a dentist <laughs> if your patients were robots <laughs> you'd scream less <laughs> much of this crud out of here as I can because it will just contaminate the new grease. Yes, please. As fun as this was, I'd like to never do it again. Yeah. Ew, I stuck my finger in it. Gross. You can let me know if I'm hindering you horribly here. Well. Just said everything else in life. <laughs> For those of you who don't know, my husband has like not even the slightest bit of interest in horses. Not even a little. He tolerates them. And they all love him, of course. But he's, he's not doing any of the horse stuff for his own entertainment. It is strictly to appease me. But, you know, they say happy wife, happy life or something. Is so gunky. It's been in here a long time. Gross. How old do you reckon this machine is? Well, does it have a year stamped on it? No. My bad. I pushed a button. So sorry. The label. I don't see a date stamp on it anyway. Oh. But it was made in Canada. Ooh. All right. For Walmart. Ooh. In China. Wow. That doesn't make a lot of sense. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I'm gonna look it up. 
probably 30 years old. One more. My husband is living proof that things can still be useful after they're 30. <laughs> so far. So far. Is anything spectacular going to happen, or are you just going to clean out a bunch of gunk? I'm going to clean a bunch of gunk. All right. I'm going to save battery, because I don't think anyone needs to watch 20 minutes of <laughs> gunk Teeth descaling. Picking. Yeah. They can watch the... ASMR dentist channels for that. So I'm going to pause and I'm going to come back once this is degunked. Alright. So now he started on the Audi using the drunk Q tip to clean in between the individual gear teeth. Is this going to make it run nicer now that it's all clean, too? Oh, yeah. I can't remember if we fixed it. I think grease it, it's actually not a solid. We'll uh, <laughs> make it. <laughs> to its credit, it actually worked before I took it apart. Yeah. I don't know if any of that will still work after I put it back together. That's the real trick. Oops. Trying to hold the camera steady and it's whipping this thing around. <laughs> like. I wasn't trained to repair things for camera. I know. <clears throat> What about the dark staining around the rim? Is that an issue? The dark staining in the rim is going to have to come off with a scotch brake pad because oh. it's whatever it is. It's like a, it's like rust or something about that. Huh. That looks a lot nicer. Mm -hmm. Isn't visible gunk in there? How about in this cover plate? What's in here? I believe that's just a counterweight because this this orbits around with the paddle on the end. Oh, the so whole thing moves. Yeah, well, this moves around the outside of this shaft. So this shaft spins, wow, which causes this whole unit to spin around the the sun or the uh, around the planetary gear on the outside, and then this pinion rotates, which really rotates the paddle as it goes around. Oh. So this kind of orbits. Will you divorce me if I ask if you can open that up to check for gunk in there? There's no. It's a solid unit. This is a piece of metal. This is a counterweight. Oh, I thought it was like a plate with like no, no, a it's counterweight inside. You can inside. see it's a, it's a counterweight. It's just a oh, great okay. big massive plate. Oh. And it's just designed to balance the, okay. the load on the motor. So it's Got not it. swinging around an off-center thing and wearing out the bearing. Okay, I thought maybe there was like a weight inside and then perhaps nope, that nope. was a thing to make it look nice. Now we're going to put some schmoo on here. Schmoo. How do you know how much schmoo to put on? Well, I'm going to put this gear back in. I'm going to spin it around and see how much it displaces. Ooh, like the bathtub thing. Oh, that sounds way nicer already. It's purring. Comes apart easier, too. Ooh, a lot of it just like stayed there in a big sloppy yep. chunk. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to smear some of the gear teeth. It'll displace anything that it is too much. I don't want to put too much in there because it'll just leak out. But you want to get it all over. Like Even all though this is food right? grade grease, I don't want it in the food. Yeah. Nobody likes greasy cookies, right? Mm -hmm. The last time that I remember seeing you greasing something with your bare hands, um, that was the hmm. post pounder. <laughs> yes. And. He, uh, he doesn't like to waste things, and when he reached to the bottom of the big grease gun, stuck his finger in, I guess to like scoop the last little bit of grease out, 
but instead it was a sharp piece of tin yeah, that he found in there. I forgot about that. And he uh, he opened up his finger. So not only did the post pounder get greased with grease, it also got a substantial dose of blood. Honestly, though, if you're not bleeding out, are you actually fixing anything? <laughs> you need a t-shirt that says that. <laughs> that's that's going to be our, our first t-shirt in our future merch store. Isn't there a little divot? Oh, the pin slid. This oh. pin can get off center. Oh, that's an important point. And if it's not somebody's... evenly spaced. How do you know if the pin is centered? What do you line well, it up to? That's off center. That's about middle. So there's this T shape here. So the shaft yeah, goes. Go slow. <laughs> the shaft goes in here, and then that T bar is what rotates the whole assembly. Could you shake it around a little more for me? Yes. <laughs> Had a lot of comments on our stump pulling video. There we go. People saying, "Could you shake the camera around a little more?" And that that was back before anybody ever watched our videos. That was back when the only people who had to suffer through my videos was like my mom. <laughs> but now more people are watching, so we're trying to make better quality videos because that looks pretty good. Some of you are less patient than my mom. There we go. Let me just yeah. wipe off any excess and then reassemble it and try it out. Ooh, I'm so excited. <clears throat> I definitely should have filmed that sunbeam one that we did because the amount of stuff that came out of there was horrifying. In fact, I think a lot of you probably would have just like thrown your mixers out and bought a new one <laughs> which by the way is not what we did we found this one at uh, the local thrift store and decided that we liked this one better than the one that we had before my husband was like yeah I could use more work if you do decide to fix one of these regrease re it it's really important that you use food rated grease Yes, you don't want to poison yourselves stuff and your family. says on here somewhere, Canadian Written. Food Inspection Agency, food grade, clean. Yes. So that's important because the grease is probably going to stay in here, but you can't guarantee it's going to stay in here. Yeah. Better safe than sorry. Better safe than sorry. Oh my gosh. You just got me like a thousand unsubscribes. <laughs> Thanks a bunch. <laughs> I'll do what I can. <laughs> Surprise, Barley's not helping. Me too. I would have expected him to jump much earlier by now. Yeah. Well, he did already at the beginning of the video. Yeah. But usually he comes back for more. Although, I guess we did send the kids <clears throat> to bed, so he's probably snuggling up to Gabe or laying on Rhiannon's face. Whoa. There was a visible... <laughs> Visible thing that first time. The heat shield stuff. Yeah, I'm missing. There it is. Heat Put the shell casings there. back in. <laughs> so, wait, what are those actually? You said heat, heat shields? Shield. Why is there heat in here? So, this is the motor. Okay. And the motor windings are in close proximity to these plastic posts. Okay. And these get hot when it's in use. Okay. There's 350 watts of power going through this. So, this works like a, a space heater. So, if they left it, with the coil that close to the plastic, mm. this could melt and then the melt. whole thing could come apart. So they so put these fiberglass sleeves to insulate everything. They look like Chinese finger traps. Are we allowed to say that? That's I don't think we're allowed to say that anymore. Oh, that's what I always called them when I was a kid because that's what mm -hmm. they were labeled. If anyone knows the proper name to call those now, it's just, just, a, it's woven just a woven finger, finger trap, trap, right? But I mean, China's allowed to get credit for something they invented, right? Did they invent it or did, did like know. white people use it on them? It sounds it's, like something white people did. It does. <laughs> he got finger trapped for it. Hair and politics. Well, All it's, in one. it's one of those things. I want to set a good example for the kids, but it's like so many things that used to be said way back then are no longer okay. And I want to make sure that we're 
saying the right stuff. So now knowing what I know, knowing now, if I knew it then, I would just remove this center screw. I could left it attached to the bottom portion of the stand. I'm a little relieved that he said I would just remove my wife and tell her that I cleaned it. It's fine, <laughs> it's fine honey. Yeah, I checked. It's spotless in there. Don't worry. Uh-oh. That's okay. Is it a good bang? Yep. Okay. It's just the plastic slapping together. Okay. Important. You screw so fast, my camera can't even record it. Wait, that sounded bad. Gonna edit that out. <laughs> as long as it won't make the bad cut. <sighs> okay, so let's get a sample of this. Oh, I know you're efficient, but like you're moving faster Sorry. than the camera can handle. Camera's all like, wait, I'm still stuck in 1992. I only know how to work one way. These guys back in. What are these guys? These are the uh, little screw covers that oh, I didn't need to take out. Plug holes? Oh, so that was just like extracurricular. Work that I didn't need to do. Oh well. Now you know. It was uh, and and exploratory. Yeah, it was exploratory surgery, and you saved the viewers having to do that. I mean, hopefully, Nobody else needs to do this. Hopefully, they watched it first and then started. They weren't like following, following along. Following along and then. <laughs> Damn it, why? <laughs> what an asshole. That's funny because if I was going to learn how to do something, I would probably do it like following along like a Bob Ross painting. <laughs> I am not the Bob Ross of repair. You could be. I mean, we could just... I would need better hair. I was, I was going to say, if we didn't condition your hair, it would probably just, you know, it would frizz up a lot. So there's some more grease in here. I'm going to clean that up too. Why is there grease in here? Because this is a moving part. This is where the oh, head pivots the head back and forth. Comes up and down. And anytime you've got two sliding surfaces, you should lubricate it. Mm. I'm not even gonna. Yeah. You don't even need to. I don't even need to. Everybody's good falling at home anyway. Yeah. But if they're not vomiting violently because of my camera work. <laughs> Power puking between takes. <laughs> Classy. Yeah. Oh no. Don't make me laugh because then I shake the camera even more. <laughs> Some people are like, use a tripod, but I mean, it's how can not I. not a tripodable thing. Yeah. How can I get an excellent shot it's of the inside of your nose? Tripodable. Mm. This is a nasty looking thing. Stain grease all over the table. That's kind of gross. Can I see? Yeah. The this is just bread. a. Uh, else can I see? There's a spacer that goes in there. Ah, uh, you know, it would actually. When I say can I see, it's also code for hold still for a Hold second. still so the camera can see. Yeah, yes. Sorry, my bad. So there's a spacer. Wait, wait, wait. I just about got focused and then he moved it again. There we go. That's an interesting thing. Okay, thank mm -hmm. you. Wow, your hands are filthy, man. Well, yeah, they weren't when I started, so. Wow. That's why it needed cleaning. Yeah, no, that's, I mean, that justifies the effort, right? Mm -hmm. So what's this thing down here? It looks like a dog bowl. That's for the bowl sets. Mm. The bowl twist locks in there. What is a twist lock? It's got little twist lock. Little oh, it does. It's got little, little, little lugs in there. It's got little ridgies. Yeah. It's fridged for someone's pleasure. <laughs> Not ours. Someone's. Someone's. That or does it go on there like that? Will it blow up if you're wrong? Probably not. It'll probably work just fine. I think it goes that way. All right. I should have paid attention when I took it apart. Well, if we need to check, we could rewind the video and look. We could. I mean, I filmed it. It's basically like, I mean, we literally documented it. That's a spacer. But can't remember now. I can't remember who it was, but somebody said the difference between science and screwing around is writing it down. Granted, I'm letting the electronics write this down in Same the thing. chip, but yes. 
basically the same thing. Same horse, different jockey. Different so how yeah. come this is like a bright white plastic and this is like a sun faded <laughs> yellow? The, uh, yellowing you texted me. usually happens because of fire retardants <laughs> baked into plastic. They react with UV light and uh, it causes the yellowing. Oh. Now, as to why the bottom and the top yellow differently. Oh my goodness. It, uh, it usually means that they were molded at different times. But in this case, it's because this isn't plastic. Mm. That is. As a side note, I'm going to remember to turn off my notification sounds before my next video. Well, just imagine how loud they are in the phone at the speaker. I, too. I they're know. Be they're usually... Deafening. Someone in the comments is going to be yelling. Like, Amateurs, what are you doing? Well, usually it's bright and I'm holding the phone close to my eyes. So usually all you hear is the sound of me going... <gasps> trying to, you know, breathe. You just got to remember that this is worth what they pay. Which is effectively nothing. <laughs> you may have had to watch it. 15 second second ad which was skippable my condolences i try to always do the skippable ads you guys we just need more views we make more money and get better equipment yes like a camera i could get a muff for my mm. camera but you know like a, a, a dead cat a, yeah that's better <laughs> isn't it isn't it called a muff it's like a it, it looks like a fluffy thing and it Fun. goes yeah. Usually called a dead cat, but oh, well. someone in the comments will say what it's called. I thought it was called a muff, but I'm gonna get demonetized saying muff too many times. <laughs> I'm gonna be like, yeah, the other day, I was really lucky. I, you know, someone grabbed my muff in the store, which, and then people will freak out before I get to the part where I say, yeah, it fell off my phone, and I didn't even notice. Thank goodness somebody picked it up. That was like when I. Uh, when I played bass in high school, and I came home upset because one of the boys grabbed my G-string and broke it. And my dad understood what it meant, but my mom did not. And she was upset. She was like, what? For one, she was wondering why, why I would wear a G-string to school. That's a little weird. And why the boys were grabbing it. But no, that's, that's just a string on the electric bass. Now I'm definitely going to get demonetized. Yeah, you have to blur this. Yeah. That's right, use lots of lube. When you got two sliding surfaces, you need to lubricate them. <clears throat> I know, you're used to the self-lubricating machines, right? Oh. Oh no, is that sound copyrighted? Am I going to have to like blur that out? <laughs> Probably. Oh man. So now we're like inappropriate and we have a copyright infringement. This is a disaster. That's right, just force it in. That's, that's always good practice with electronics, right? Yeah. If it doesn't fit, just force it. You haven't hit it hard enough. Yeah. Well, we know it's on the right way because the doggy bowl is facing the front. That's the technical term for it, I'm sure. Just watch it doesn't take off your fingers, hey? Because that's going to, like, ka-chunk in there. Hey, wait, is that a hint that maybe we've got the thingy on backwards? Maybe that goes in the other way. I don't or maybe that goes in cause... first. I mean, like, if you rotate it... Uh, it was in here already, so... Oops. Oh, it's tapered. The slot is tapered. I don't know what that's supposed to mean. Like, I understand There's what it's... There's an error at the top oh. here than it is at the bottom, so... No, no, I know what a, ta I know what a taper is, you jackass. Hey, what you I meant was... What I meant was I don't understand what that means to this. Does that mean it won't go in unless that... Is assembled from the bottom, or does that mean it won't go unless it's assembled from the bottom? Okay, that was that was what I was asking. <laughs> Explain what a taper is to me. It's funny because he gets like hashtag triggered by the word mansplain. <laughs> hey, you're the one that asked for the taper. Man. I I meant in context asking to this. Yeah, yeah. I've inserted the shaft. <laughs> no, we're definitely getting demonetized. <laughs> I'm play oh, that man. too, actually. That's not creepy headlights looking through the window. That's just the reflection of my phone's flash. Yeah. Okay, now I got these circles back on here. 
you gotta put what? Those little E clips. Oh. Go on the. That was the sir clips. Is it like S I R like? Uh, I heard good day, clip, sir. I've heard E clip because it kind of vaguely looks like an E. Yeah, it kind of does look anyway, like an E. So it just clicks onto a divot in the shaft in here. You might be able to see that. Okay. So, so where on I the shaft? Point to it with a screwdriver. Maybe I won't block it. Right there, there's a little slot. Oh, I see it. There's yeah. a matching one on the other side, which is inside this housing right now. Matchy, matchy. So I'm going to get this one on first, and then I'll get okay. the other one. All right, you get it on, and I'll film. Yeah. <laughs> I'll do my best, at least. Nope. All the YouTube viewers are going to judge my unmanicured fingers. Have you ever had a manicure? No. You never. You didn't even have one for your first wedding? Damn. Uh-oh. It's important when reassembling something to drop the pieces in. Hey, is that a magnetic one? Mm -hmm. Oh, smart. The other day, I was adding some oil, and I was all proud of myself because I got oil into the engine without getting any on myself. I got none on my hands. I spilled none on the engine. I got none on my clothes, and I was like, yes. And then as I was trying to put the cap back on the engine block i dropped it and it landed like way in the middle on top of the cross member and i could not get it without using a stick which was difficult to find i'd use a stick to carefully push it off and yeah by the time i was done i was my hair was dirty because i had to lay on the ground so it was a hollow victory okay let's see if i can get that on there Am I helping by holding this or am I making it worse? Mm. I realized that you're like pulling it away from me and I was like, you know what, maybe I'm hindering. There. Okay. Good work. So you that just like push them. it on? Yeah, like they just snap on. They just, they're narrower than the shaft and then they just snap on. Not an advertisement for snap on tools. Hashtag not sponsored. Not sponsored. Unless they want to send me some money. <laughs> All right. I didn't even set it down in two degrees. That's good. Yeah, that would have been... disappointing. <laughs> it would have, like, splooged everywhere. <laughs> it's definitely All... never happened to me before. Not once. It would have, like, filled your case. Oh, that would be a really funny, like, mean trick to play on you. It would be to so, fill, it, fill your case here with Vaseline. Check. Make sure we have very few leftover parts. And maybe get that grease off the side now. <laughs> and we'll get the grease on the outside. The outside's easier to clean. Do you want some cleaning Once solution, or do you just want like a little bit of alcohol? I'm just gonna use elbow grease for now. Okay, that's right. You rub it hard. I'll get that with Windex afterwards. For now, let's make sure it still works. So you're gonna plug it in. We're gonna see if we all die in a terrible electrical fire. Make sure this is hooked well. This is my favorite part. It very clearly says in capital letters. It's like. Ensure machine is unplugged. So for Ooh. Oh, yeah. Can you hear the grease squishing around? Is that what the chicka 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 sound is? Yep. Okay. Oops. Sorry guys, I'm going to try to shake this even more. Seems like it's working to me. Excellent. Should I go fetch the hooks and then should we try it with the hooks or? Well, the next test will be with some dough. Oh, okay. We know that it functions. So, uh, might as well finish the clean up and make some cookies. Excellent. Yeehaw. So there you have it. Always, always do this if you're getting a used appliance whether that's passed down from someone or you buy it from value village or whatever because even with one like this which is really well engineered as far as purposely keeping crap out there was still nasty crap in there and i don't even really know exactly how you could ever prevent oh what was that other trick that we did uh we used what's it called we used saran wrap over the last one to keep it clean. Yeah. That way it would stay clean. We just put saran wrap 
Like we poked a little hole right here in the, the end, and then just wrapped that, that whole for head. This one because of how it was. <clears throat> yeah. But for the double beater one, it worked okay. Yeah. Probably couldn't do that with this. You can always check on YouTube to see if someone does it the hard way first. Oh, and learned learned a hard lesson. Learned how not to do it. <laughs> yeah. Well, hopefully none of those are our videos. It's this one. <laughs> Well, I mean, we learned the long way to disassemble it, but that's okay. I mean, now we know that it's got electronics inside. That's good to know, right? It's a silver lining. I mean, while you were there, you could have checked all the fuses and... I did check everything. Oh, well, there you didn't go. didn't see me do it, but it was there. The wires and, you know, check the things. Help me out with some technical terms There's here. not much in there. Okay. I mean, it's an electric motor. I was gonna say, I know, I know fuses and wires. I didn't think I saw a fuse in there. Oh, okay. Wow. That's like gleaming. There you go. That's not just general electric, it's gleaming electric. <laughs> That's how I like my electrics. Gleaming. Okay. All right, finished product. Oh, and he even cleans up. See, this is why I married him. He's a keeper. Oh, and he moved too fast for me to film him. <sighs> but there you go. Now I can make cookies without having some horrible anxiety attack that I'm dropping contaminated crumbs into it or something because that totally grosses me out. So anyways, I hope you learned something. Even if you didn't learn something, I hope you enjoyed it. And even if you didn't enjoy it, I hope you'll still give it a thumbs up anyway. I would appreciate that. And if there's anything else that you want to see him take apart and uh, fix, let me know in the comments and maybe he'll maybe he'll read them and do it. Have a good night. All right, we're testing my husband's handiwork. Seems to work just great. We're baking our awesome. Grandma Thorne's cookie recipe. And I love it. Are these the best cookies ever? Mm -hmm. But did we add something a little bit special to it? What did we add? Some. Uh, oh my gosh, what's the name? C Cinnamon and some the vanilla. Very good. All to right. To make it wow. extra delicious. Wow. And we know this won't have any weird crap from any previous owners. Yay! <laughs> Just make sure you. You're not even interested, are you? He's like, none of these look like tuna. Which one's the right one? This one? It's like, dude, you straight up crazy. Is it so? <laughs> Any flavor in the muffin bits, right? <laughs> no? The only bits I like are kibbles and bits. <laughs> it's only fun to knock things off the table when you're not allowed to. Yeah. You know, if that had been your beer, he would have eagerly been up there knocking it over. Hey, Barley. Hey, kitten. He's a good boy. All right, we'll get the other dog in here. Get the other animal in here. Bella. Come here. Hi, Bella. Who's a good dog? Who's a good dog? Who's a good puppy? Oh, my goodness. Look. Is he your best friend, Gabe? Gabe, is Barley your best friend? Yeah. What a nice kid. Hey, 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 psst, psst. Naughty paws. Good boy. Good boy.